You guys, this looks like a fun one. This is another Katrina Ag puzzle. It's given us that this is made up of five squares and it wants to know what's the total shaded area. If you wanna try this on your own, pause it right now because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. First, I wanna look at these three angles. They're gonna add up to 180 degrees. And that's the same thing as a triangle. So if we look at this triangle on the left here, this right angle can be brought here and the purple angle can be brought there. These three angles will also add up to 180 degrees. And then we can do the same thing for this triangle over here. This blue right angle can go here, and then that means that this last angle would have to be the green angle. So these two triangles have three congruent angles. That means the two triangles are similar. Next, let's focus on this little triangle. Let's label this side A, this side B, and this hypotenuse C. Well, this C is also one of the sides of these squares. So another side of the square would also be C. In fact, all of these sides would be equal to C. I don't think there's anything else I know for now, so let's pull out these triangles. And if we rotate this one, now the two similar triangles are oriented the same. Let's change these four C's into four C. And now since these are similar triangles, we can find the scale factor. From C to four C, that means our scale factor is four. To get the base, we're gonna multiply A times four to get four A. And to get this height, we're gonna multiply B times four to get four B. And now we know these sides, so we can update this figure. Let's rotate this triangle back and you can see that the 4B goes there and the 4A goes there. So that looks pretty good. Now we have three different ways to measure the side of this larger square. Let's set them equal to each other. So we'll have this side A plus 4B equal to this side 4A. And then we can also do this side B plus 13 equal to this side 4A. And now we have two equations and two variables, so we can solve for both A and B. Let's start with this one. We can subtract A from both sides, and that gives us 4B is equal to 3A. And next we can divide both sides by four and that will give us B is equal to three fourths A. And this looks important, so let's put a box around it. Next, let's look at this equation. Let's copy it down. And in the place of the B, we're gonna plug in three fourths A. And then we wanna combine like terms, so let's subtract three fourths A from both sides of the equation. On the right-hand side, these are gonna cancel each other out. And on the left-hand side, we're gonna do four A minus three fourths A. In order to subtract these, let's give them a common denominator. Let's rewrite this four as 16 fourths. And then we're gonna do 16 fourths A minus 3 fourths A, which is equal to 13 fourths A. Now to get the A all by itself, we'll multiply both sides by the reciprocal 4 thirteenths. On the left-hand side, these are gonna cancel each other out. And on the right-hand side, these two 13s will cancel each other out. So we end up with A is equal to four. And this looks important, so let's put a box around it. Now going back to our previous box, we know B is equal to three fourths of A. A is equal to four, so in the place of this A, let's plug in four. And then when we multiply this three fourths times four, the fours are gonna cancel each other out. We end up with B is equal to three. In the place of both of these A's, we can plug in four. And then four times four is equal to 16. And in the place of both of these Bs, we can plug in three. And four times three is equal to 12. So now let's focus on this little triangle right here. This is a special triangle. It's called a Pythagorean triple. Anytime a right triangle has legs three and four, the hypotenuse will always be five. And since this side is five, that means this side is also five. And the area of this square would be five times five, which is 25. And 25 would be the area of all these squares. So if we want the area of the shaded region, we're gonna do four times 25. And four times 25 is 100. And that is the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. How exciting.